dosage compensation what is dosage what is to be compensated dosage means in sexually reproducing organisms the genes located on the chromosome should be equal if one sex has more genes and more gene expression than the other sex that leads to lethality or death due to the over expression and over production of proteins so this dosage has to be equalized that is the compensation how the dosage is equalizing is the dosage compensation which is first observed and proposed by the mary lyons on the honor of that scientist this is also uh, called as the lyons hypothesis in the female organism during the embryonic development in two sex chromosomes or x chromosomes one of the x chromosome is inactivated by the genes and remain in the nucleus as the chromatin material those are called the bar bodies which are observed by the murray bar first time on the honor of that scientist this is, these are also called as the bar bodies the principle of this dosage compensation is equalizing gene expression on chromosomes both in the male and female organisms what is the procedure for the dosage compensation is in the humans x chromosome inactivation that is called the hypoactivation means in two x chromosomes one of the x chromosome and its genes are inactivated by the long non coding rna but whereas in the drosophila in the male organism actually one x chromosome is present this one x chromosome is exp expressed twice two times that is called the hyperactivation which is equal to the two x chromosomes in the female drosophila this is the main discussion here these are some of the important questions which i am going to discuss regarding this dosage compensation or bar body formation those are what is dosage compensation and what is the mechanism behind it what stage of the life cycle the bar bodies are forming in females then how it is forming then what do one x chromosome is inactivated in human females what is the need of inactivation of x chromosome what is euchromatin region what is heterochromatin region on the chromosome especially on the sex chromosome or x chromosome then while the x chromosome is inactivating which x chromosome is inactivated or hypoactivated maternal or paternal x chromosome that is what is hyperactivation of x chromosomes in male drosophila during the dosage compensation is also discussing here the dosage compensation in the drosophila is different from the dosage compensation taking place in the humans human females then what is euchromatin region and what is what is heterochromatin region on the x chromosomes how do the euchromatin region is converted into heterochromatin region while the x, while one x chromosome is inactivating what are par regions par regions are pseudo autosomal regions located on the x chromosomes or uh, sex chromosomes what are the functions of those pseudo autosomal regions or genes does the total genes on the x chromosome are inactivated if x chromosome is inactivated in the females while does the inactivated x chromosome is reactivated again because in the females uh, during the reproductive stage while they are forming the gametes how do this inactivated bar body is involving in the formation of gametes this is human karyotype 23 pairs of uh, chromosomes are present in this 23 pairs of chromosomes from the first pair to 22nd pair these are called the autosomes the 23rd pair is called allosome or sex chromosome those genes are alleles located on the autosomes 
can determine the body characters or somatic characters. Those genes which are located on the allosomes, some of the genes, special genes can determine the sex of the organism. Some of the uh, genes located on the X chromosome called the X-linked genes can determine the uh, somatic characters also. Means on the X chromosome, some genes are determining the sexual characters, some, some genes are participating in the uh, somatic characters. If the genes are determining the somatic characters, those should be equal in both male and female organisms. That is the point here. For example, an autosome I am taking, first pair of homologous chromosomes. On these homologous chromosomes, one allele capital A, another allele small a or capital A, whatever it may be. These two alleles are located on the homologous chromosomes at say at one locus or same locus. These two alleles are determining one character. In both male and female organisms, the chromosomes are same and the alleles are also same because the characters are same. In all the autosomes, the alleles located on the particular locus or loci can determine the characters equal in both male and female organisms. Now I am taking this 23rd pair sex chromosomes in females two X chromosomes are present in the male one is X another one is the Y chromosome in females on these two X chromosomes most of the region is euchromatin region. In this euchromatin region, approximately 1000 genes are present. These all genes are active. They can prepare the products or proteins which are participating in the sexual care, which are participating in determining the sexual characters and some of the somatic characters. These uh, two X chromosomes are same. Those are containing the same genes. So in case of autosomes, two chromosomes and their two alleles are participating in determining one character but whereas in the sex chromosomes and the X chromosomes one chromosome and one gene at the euchromatic region is enough to determine one character if one allele or one gene present on one X chromosome is enough what is the need of another allele and uh, another gene so there is no need of another gene or allele uh, to determine the character so if two chromosomes are present if two chromosomes containing the genes or alleles if the two alleles independently participating in the gene expression preparation of proteins that can leads to overexpression and overproduction of proteins two times they are producing the proteins Two times expression, two times production of proteins can lead to abnormality or lethality in the female organism. Means in female organisms, one X chromosome is enough. The alleles located on one X chromosome can be able to determine the characters perfectly. So there is no need of another X chromosome. If that another X chromosome is present in the female organism, that can lead to the problem, lethality. So, another one X chromosome is inactivating during this dosage compensation to avoid these uh, lethality problems. So, this euchromatic region is inactivated that is called actually X inactivation. This inactivated X chromosome remain as chromatin in the nucleus of the somatic cells of female organism that is bar body. Now this euchromatic region if it is converted into bar body by inactivating is called as heterochromatin. Euchromatin is containing the active genes and uh, they are expressed that they can involve in the synthesis of proteins but when it is inactivated it is 
tightly compacted with the proteins or RNAs, then what happens? It is converted into heterochromatic region. The genes are inactive. So those, those genes are not expressed. They cannot prepare the proteins. But the total X chromosome is not inactivated. Only this region, the euchromatic region is uh, inactivating and converting into heterochromatin. But some of the genes located at the end of the chromosomes, two ends of the chromosomes are called pseudo autosomal regions. This is called commonly called as PAR1, pseudo autosomal region 1. This is pseudo autosomal region 2 this active chromosome is also containing these PRA, P PAR1 and PAR2 regions these are called the pseudo autosomal regions means these are actually acting like autosomes means at this region the alleles are located these alleles are acting like autosomal alleles means two alleles are participating in determining the character so these regions par regions do not converted into heterochromatin region do not inactivate it so it means total x chromosome is not inactivating not converted into bar body some regions are leaving those regions are called the pseudo autosomal regions which are containing the paid alleles and determining the characters just like the other autosomes why they are calling as the pseudo means actually these alleles are not located on the autosomes they are located on the x chromosome but acting like autosomes that's why they are calling as a pseudo autosomal reasons how do the x chromosome is inactivating in the female humans that is a mechanism of x inactivation by exist what is that we'll see this is one X chromosome. This X, X chromosome is containing a gene near to the centromere region that is zig gene. X I C means X chromosome inactivation center gene. This gene is transcribing RNA. This RNA is called a long non coding RNA, LNC RNA this is called exist exist means x chromosome inactivating specific transcript that is rna long non-coding rna means this chrome this rna is long with many nucleotides but it is non-coding it cannot prepare any protein instead of that this long non-coding rna can coat around the x chromosome which is going to be inactivated means the long non-coding RNA is coating around the X chromosome the X chromosome is inactivated this long non-coding RNA also uh, initiate the methylation process that methylation process is also contribute for the X chromosome inactivation this is the mechanism of inactivation in the female humans. What stage of the life cycle this dosage compensation is achieving in the females? During the embryonic development at the time of blastocyst stage, this uh, compensation of dosage is taking place in the females sperm cell fused with the egg cell forms a zygote zygote undergo the mitotic divisions forms a two cell two cells can form four cells eight cells eight cells undergo the mitotic divisions 16 cells are formed this 16 cell stage is called actually blastocyst this is the blastocyst stage this blastocyst stage, these cells which are present in the blastocyst are called blastomeres. Blastomeres. At this stage, the blastomeres call these cells. These are the cells. Blastomeres. 
these are actually undifferentiated cells undifferentiated cells means all the cells are same type of cells in these undifferentiated cells x chromosome inactivation is started in some of the cells paternal x chromosome is inactivated and in some of the cells blastomeres maternal x chromosome is inactivated this is random process randomly x chromosome is inactivated so for example these cells in these cells if the paternal x chromosome are inactivated after the differentiation all the cells which are forming from these cells in the body are containing these paternal x chromosome inactivated inactivated bar body all the cells which are forming from these cells are containing the bar bodies which are derived from the maternal x chromosome inactivation so the if the in the female organisms some of the somatic cells are containing the bar bodies by the maternal x chromosome inactivation in some of the body cells are containing the paternal uh, bar bodies of paternal x chromosomes here is an example for this x chromosome inactivation in the female humans in the female body some of the regions in the skin are containing the sweat pores some regions are not possessing any sweat pores normally in humans the sweat pores are present throughout the body the males are females with no sweat pores is caused by a mutant allele for example i am denoting it as small e the normal allele is for example capital e in normal people due to the presence of this capital e there all are containing the sweat pores on the body but if the small e is present they cannot possess any sweat pores on the body in the males one is x chromosome another one is the y chromosome so if this mutant allele is present on the x chromosome the male organism is diseased with no sweat pores in the skin the disease is called anhydritic ectodermal dysplasia anhydritic ectodermal dysplasia whereas in the females two x chromosomes are present if one is dominant allele and other one is the recessive allele during the embryonic development at the blastocyst stage in some cells uh, the paternal x inactivation in some cells the maternal inactivation is taking place for example these cells these cells two x chromosomes these x chromosomes are containing the alleles for the formation of sweat pores if one is capital allele and other one is the small allele these cells are also containing the same two x chromosomes containing the or at the heterozygous condition in these cells if this x chromosome is inactivated small e the mutant one is expressed if the mutant one is expressed all the cells which are developing from this does not contain any sweat pores these areas in some of the cells the maternal x for example this is inactivated then what happen remaining x chromosome is containing the normal capital e allele which can able to form the sweat pores on the dermis or skin those regions are these so the female is showing just like a mosaic form some areas in the dermis or skin are containing the sweat pores some areas do not containing any sweat pores due to this dosage compensation another example for this dosage compensation or bar body formation is 
calico cats these calico cats are exposing the different colors uh, of uh, fur black color and the white or brown color two colors are there the female cats are xx male cats are xy most of the calico cats these colored cats are females in this females actually the fur color or the coat color is determined by two genes one is capital b and the one is the small b capital b is dominant small b is the recessive allele if the capital b is present the coat color or the fur color is black this region if the small b is present that can form the white or a brown color fur on the body during the embryonic development in some of the cells this x chromosome is inactivated so the mutant allele small b is present the due to this allelic expression the coat color or fur color is formed as a white and brown color this region in some of the cells this x chromosome is inactivated so the normal capital b gene or allele is present on the x chromosome that is expressed that is responsible to form the black color coat or black color fur this is another example for the formation of bar bodies or dosage compensation in the calico cats surprisingly the bar bodies are inactivated x chromosome is reactivating reactivated in the female ovaries or ova during the oogenesis or while she is producing the ova so the x chromosome is reactivating then two x chromosomes are activated these two x chromosomes participate in the meiotic division meiosis and can form gametes with the two x chromosomes means uh, the inactivated x chromosome is again reactivated in the ovaries in drosophila the dosis compensation is solved by hyperactivation of x chromosomes two times or two folds how is that male organism with x one x chromosome another one is a y chromosome female with two x chromosomes in these two x chromosomes no one x chromosome is inactivated instead of that in the male organism these are the x linked genes these x linked genes are two times expressed if they are expressed two times then what happen the genes the, the genes and expression number will become double which is equal to the female x chromosomal x linked gene expression that is how many number of bar bodies are present in a human how can we count it this is identified by a principle n to the power of x minus 1 or it is commonly written as x minus 1 means number of x chromosomes minus 1 bar bodies are present for example normal male how many number of bar bodies are present in the normal male then by using this principle number of x chromosomes means how many number of x chromosomes are present here n to the power of 1 minus 1 0 bar bodies in the male are 0 but in the female n to the power of how many x chromosomes are present 2 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so one bar body is present for example super female n to the power of 3 minus 1 two bar bodies are present in another female n to the power of 4 minus 1 three bar bodies are present 
Klein Felter syndrome person is there, male one. In the Klein Felter syndrome, how many X chromosomes are present? N to the power of 2 minus 1. He is also containing one bar body in his somatic cell nucleus. Finally, we had to revise and conclude the conclude the topic the dosage compensation or X chromosome inactivation or the formation of bar bodies. In human and Drosophila, the double dose of the gene expression in females and single dose in male is equalized during the dosage compensation. That inequality is overcoming. Dosage compensation takes place in blastomeres of blastocyst stage during the embryonic development. Dosage compensation done in the female human body, the ran random, that is actually random inactivation, hypoactivation of one X chromosome. Dosage comp compensation is done in the male drosophila by twofold activation, that is called a hyperactivation. In the, in the human females, that is hypoactivation means one X chromosome is inactivating. Uh, in the male drosophila, that hyperactivation means one X chromosome containing the X linked genes are expressing two folds and two times. That is called the hyperactivation. Dosage compensation is achieved by inactivating the X one X chromosome in the female or by increasing the gene expression two folds in the male organism the second one is happening in the drosophila the first one is taking place in the human females in females the paternal x chromosome is inactivated in some of the somatic cells maternal x chromosome is inactivated in other somatic cells euchromatin can be masked and formed as a heterochromatin means the euchromatin region is containing the active genes they can prepare the proteins but in the inactivated x chromosome this euchromatin can be converted into heterochromatin region highly pank, uh, highly compacted chromatin material that cannot uh, allow the expression of genes that is the inactivation of x chromosome the mechanism lnc rna also called the exist long non-coding rna which is prepared by the X inactivation center gene located on the X chromosome. This is also called the exist means X chromosome inactivated specific transcript produced by the XIC gene located on the X chromosome involving in the X inactivation by coating the chromosome and by the methylation process also. Pseudo autosomal regions are acting as autosomes means those genes which are located at this pseudo autosomal regions of the X chromosome are containing the paired alleles they can determine one character like the other autosomal alleles PAR pseudo autosomal regions are not inactivated during the dosage compensation bar bodies are inactivated X chromosomes are reactivated in the ovarian cells are Ovary, ovary cells are ova and form the normal gametes during the reproductive period that is dosage compensation